we're, we're live? We're, we're good? Alright, so we're back again, we're back again. <laughs> Everybody out there, you don't know what I live with here. <laughs> she cracks herself up over there. My well, daughter is special. I said we need to start doing rehearsals before we start this thing, and, and, and we did, and it got worse. <laughs> Have you met me in Stan? Hello. <laughs> don't 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 include me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm. Well, you're kind of nonsense, nonsense sometimes too. I'm good at the nonsense. Okay, we got the old crew back here, and I'm wondering why. But uh, Stan, the two toy man's on my right, and the golden retriever, her own self, is on my left, and the intelligence is right here in the middle. We're going to talk about stuff. We're going to talk about stuff. We're going to talk about stuff. Let's see it on here. Stan, Stan the Millennial, you can tell he's got his phone in his hand there. I was checking to see if we were live, but I don't, see it. I don't see it on YouTube just yet. I see it. If you said you could, we're good. Massive, go on YouTube and see it. Are we on or not? Yeah, we're on. Oh, yes. I was just going to see it. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Nobody made a comment, too. Yeah, Madison, if, if you read the comments, we get any questions or anything like that. Will they pop up on here? If yes, go, they go should. To, uh, Still figuring out our technical scope. Hang with us. We're going to have informative dog education sometime tonight. Eventually. We got anybody in here watching with us? I think two right now. All right. Hi, two. Hey, two. Hi. Oh, so, wait. Jamil and Madison. First. No, I first, oh. first, <laughs> first. First announcement. This is our new digs. Everyone's griping about. Everyone's griping about they can't hear us. So, uh. We went out and bought a we went out and bought a fancy new mobile home. Yep. So it's in the process to getting all fancy. We got some pictures <coughs> and, and stuff coming up on the walls, guys. We can get some floor in here. Y'all are gonna see a lot of exciting videos from drug searches. Who? I love from Tuxin. Tuxin? What up, Tuxin? Uh what's it? Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Hey Deborah. Deborah yeah, drinks water. Deborah drinks water. Water's good. <laughs> My dog likes water. Is that what you said? No. I drink water. I drink water. We're all water. We're all drinking water. I need to go. So, uh, I say hydrate. Thank you for going to food. So we're going to talk about obedience to commands that your dog really needs. First, a little, little re refresh. Like I said, we've got a brand new uh, studio to be. We've been off the air so long and Stan was getting withdrawals. So, so we thought we'd just throw Slide something around up a few times. <laughs> Retriever, <laughs> Retriever's going to take care of our, our heavy work. Yeah, and so, he can kick my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen how much he works out? I would not mess with Stan. Hey, them dogs get faster and faster. we got to stay ahead of the Stan, we move fast too. I'm like, I don't think I could ever not quit to hit him. He'd be like, have you seen him try to catch a dog? He's yeah. like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just like that. How's he good? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so about 78 years ago, Butch used to do the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> Butch. That's because you learned about the Butch. It's Don't crazy. tell everybody my birthday. My it's bad, my bad, my crazy bad. Crazy how y'all do that, though. Y'all are good with it. Okay, back to obedience. Back to obedience, yeah. Obedience. So we're going to try to do, there's, there's so many fine points in dog training that people miss that that I have missed and made mistakes on over the years, which allowed me to, to learn. You know, uh, they say, what is it? Necessity is the mother of invention. Well, the father of success is mistakes. <laughs> so if you keep making them and you learn from them, you will be successful. So we're going to go over a few things that I think are overlooked by people uh, that are raising the puppy and trying to teach it basic obedience. So, uh, what do you think, Stan? You're looking like I got something. I got something. All right. All right. So, what is the the most most important thing that you should teach your uh, let's say a ten week old puppy? We just got a puppy, had mm -hmm. it for two weeks, mm -hmm. started doing potty training, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Now I want to teach commands. What are we going to start with? You know, this may come as a surprise to a lot of people. And some of you are going to think, that's ridiculous. But for all of you who think that's ridiculous 
after I say this, and you say I'm ridiculous, go look at all your internet books and all your internet, I mean your books and your internet, everything, and see how many people have ever told you to teach your dog this. Everyone just assumes the dog knows this. That's something really, really simple. What is it? His name. <gasps> My dog doesn't already know his name? Isn't that a surprise? You'd think from I'm birth shocked. they would know, you know. I'm very shocked. Yeah. The it's moment like, I call him his name or yeah. her name, they, they, they don't know. It's, you're talking to me. That's crazy. It must, must be me for the rest of my life. I'm That's crazy. You. So you have to teach him that? I, it would, well, it, it helps. I think, you know, if if they pick it up, remember what I'm fond of saying, most dogs in this country don't learn because of the trainer. They learn in spite of the trainer. So dogs are really good at figuring out what's successful. So when they're little and you go, oh, Luigi, Luigi, and you pick them up and pet him, they go, oh, I like being petted. And I heard his name, his word, his sound. So they sort of get it figured out. But that's them figuring it out. And there's really no reason to respond unless they just feel like it. Yeah. So remember, when we're talking about training. Everything you do with training, there's two E's to a trained dog. First, there's education. That's when you get them to understand the English word and okay. what it means. Gotcha. The second thing is efficiency, and efficiency only comes with repetition, practice. And practice does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Because <coughs> if you train sloppily, so shall you fight. There you go. So you start with the name, you make sure every time something good happens, you say, Luigi, and if he looks at you, you go, good dog. If he's 50 feet away, you go, Luigi, and if he looks at you, you go, good dog. When he's right in front of you, you say, Luigi, and you hand him a tree. So what you want to do is concentrate because what will happen is every time your dog's in the distance, which is the number one complaint we get, dog won't listen when he's off leash, right? Yeah. But if you really put a value in your dog's, your puppy's name, if you had him responding every time you heard his name, I look at you right in the eye, if a dog looks you in the eye when you're giving a command, I guarantee he is going to respond exactly like he wanted to. They only disobey when they're not paying attention. Okay, so we're just going to incidentally teach the dog the name when they're over there, we say it, they look at us. Is no, that's, no. that's the best way to go about this? No, no, no. We don't, we don't, when you're hoping, you ain't training. Okay, so how do I train my dog their name? Something I call the name game. Take a little treat, whatever, something that's got some smell to it. Hot dogs, as y'all know if you've seen our How to Make Your Own Dog Treats video. We've got <laughs> that, that famous, famous Cajun chef. <laughs> no, we've got the Cajun chef. So what you're going to do is, right. I'm going to borrow the golden retriever here. You go, take something they really like, it's got a good aroma. <laughs> and you're going to go, move it this way, and they'll turn her head. Move it this way, she'll turn her head. And then I go, golden. And the pup will follow your quick motion of your hand right to your nose, mm -hmm. and you give him a treat. Because I love water. <laughs> you hear that? So, and you see where we get it from, right? You, you heard him talking earlier about it's it's us. <laughs> so, <laughs> but if you he taught us, right? We if, learned all our stuff <laughs> from him. If you. If you will wave your hand and jerk it quickly as you say their name, because you want to do it when your pup's looking the furthest away from you. Name. It'll turn and look at you. you. Do that three times in a row every day. For the first two or three months of your pup's life, he will not be able to resist. When you say his name, he'll go, huh? And once he's looked at you, he's going to follow through. And, and I'm a firm, I was a witness to how important the name game is. Uh, we were doing some bite work with Miss Taza, and uh, she's a, one of the badder of the bad, let's just say that. And we were doing some uh, <coughs> pop-outs, let's just call it that. I would walk out and he would send her. And we actually weren't doing any bite work this time, and I was walking out, and Butch was walking out with his dog, and he, you know, lets her off leash like he normally does. And she sees me, and she goes, oh, I remember what I'm supposed to do now. And she comes up running, ears pinned back, 
eyes about this big, mouth wide open, and I'm standing there like, mm, this is gonna hurt. No equipment, no nothing. And Butch just, he doesn't get excited, he didn't, you know, panic, he says, Taza, and she's about one step away from me with her mouth open, about to take a nice, you know, I got all this extra leg here for her to take out. And she closed her mouth, turned her head, looked back at Butch, and he goes, heel. And she goes and runs back there. Um, after I get out of the porta potty, I said, thank you, Butch. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's the name gave me some life. Yeah. was called Taza yeah. when she was yeah. chasing me, and I ran in the thing, yeah. and you were laughing so yeah. hard. Yeah. All you had to do was call her name. Causes, causes run everybody off from one time or another. They don't know. I just say her name. She listens. But he didn't say he laughed Why she's chasing me through the yard. I said her name before I started laughing. I don't think he did because she came at me. <laughs> Luckily, I jumped in a pen. And but you kept, you kept moving. Yeah. See, if you he were helped. still, he helped. Yeah. What happened? Did it go back out? My phone room. Okay, so, go so let's go to the second most important word in a dog's life. Hmm. What's, that? What's that? No. No. Wait, um, Hold on. It's so blessed. It went off. Did it come back on the phone? It came back on, but it zoomed into Butch's hand. It's what? It zoomed it's in on your hand. So it's just blessed. Uh oh. Technical difficulty, folks. Turn on, do not disturb. Oh yeah, you should put it on airplane. It's a no, you can't airplane. do airplane because it won't do it. It won't have internet service. We need, we need to un untransfer itself to the uh, landline before we do this. Well, we turn, you turn on do not disturb, right? Do not disturb no. won't allow phone calls in. You can still use your internet. But it's still showing black. Oh, man, I'm a good one too. We're not talking. Yeah, but it's delayed. It's, you can hear it, it has you. Uh -huh. You can hear it. It's still live. But you just can't see it. Alright, we need to figure out the, the video. Is there some way you can... Do we have people watching it? Six, six people in there. Seven, Hang in there, six people. Hold on, people. We're trying to get back. Did you see anything on the screen? I fixed it. There we All go. right, hey folks. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Second most important command for a puppy. Do I know this one? What is it? What is it? The word no. You no, you have to go to your settings and put no calls because he probably has no text. <laughs> Call the news. Call the news. Okay, we're back on. All right, we're, we're back. back we're going to try to go through this so everybody actually gets something out of it. <laughs> so the word no. The word no. Okay. How important is the word no? Second most important thing in a dog's life. All right. Because people come to me and they say they drop off their dog, we do a profile, and I'll say, okay, bad habits your dog's got, we break the ball with bad habits while we're here training, of course. And they say, she chews the shoes, Okay. She jumps on the counter, okay? What command do I use for chewing shoes? No. What command do I use for jumping on the counter? No. What command do I use? She pulls on a leash. That damn dog pulls on that leash and fell me over three times like it broke my heel. What command do I use? No. Now, I know that the average American has a vocabulary of commands for bad behavior. What about leave it? They have, no, they have leave it. By God, there is. And dog they leave it, they go, oh, I know what that means. My mama taught me that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> so then you got, no, don't chew the shoe. Mm -hmm. Right? So you get so many commands that somebody's going, oh, oh, my dog's mauling the baby. No chew the shoe. Don't leave. No, I have to forget what's, what's the baby. Don't chew the baby command. Well, yeah. Don't chew the baby. That sounds yeah. good. Dogs are nice and simple, mm -hmm. and they understand stuff really good if we help them. So no means whatever behavior you're engaging in right now, stop. And 
here's how you teach them with no means. And then a lot of people say, well, I say no 15 times and all of them listen. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, she just heard it 15 times and nothing ever happened. Why should she stop? No value. Yeah, no value. So what you want to do is you need a correction following the word no. It can be a sudden startling no, no uh, noise. The dog will be chewing your shoe and you can go, Fido, <laughs> no. Crap, and the dog will hold it. Come on, what happened? And then you call the pup over to you, and get away from, in other words, you break, you break the attraction for the behavior it's engaged in. Then if it goes back, you do something called scuffing. You can also go to the pup and say no, reach down, and, and scuffing means, if you all see this, puppy, forgive me, you grab the loose skin on the back of the dog's neck and give it a hard tweak and a pinch. That's as close as you can get to correcting a puppy like mama dog would without getting hair in your teeth. So you just reach out, no comes first, the, the consequence comes second. That way pretty soon the word no, digging holes, you name it. One word for you to remember. You don't worry about getting excited and using the wrong word. So the next thing you should do is teach your dog to walk on a leash. So how do you go about teaching them to walk on a leash? You just when they when they when they bark, you just keep pulling, right? No. Fight them and yeah. fight them and Remember, for every action, there's an equal opposite reaction, right? Yeah, so if I'm pulling, he should come with me. He should. <laughs> but what's the opposite reaction? He's going to pull. He's going to pull. He's going to pull. So, again, it's like everything. Give him a reason to want to learn what you're doing. And the reason is not, I'm pulling you harder and you're choking. Because <laughs> when he starts <laughs> choking, he goes, shit, I'm getting out of here. And he backs up even more. Yeah. So, wave something tasty in front of your dog, your butt, and go, you only give it just a little bitty light tug. But move that treat along so he starts walking and give him a treat. Now what you can do is as you give him sit the treat in front of his nose, you can say heel and he'll start walking. Heel, he'll start walking. And then just keep walking. And remember, if you're if you're if you're walking with your back to your pup, he's more likely to follow you. So what are the what is the most important, I guess, time frame for you to be doing all of these commands with the dog? So as soon as you get that bus, be six weeks old, he can, he can start doing it. And you can start training. We're going to go to some of the adult things. But here's an example. I'm just going to throw a name out to Stan and let, let him give you some short background. Cody. Who? Cody. Cody? The Cody? I may have forgotten the dog's name. Uh, Puffy's the food exceptional. Oh, Cody from the school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, speaking of. Yeah, we were. Uh, <laughs> that's a funny story. Because we remember everything we scheduled, of course, right? <laughs> we were uh, so efficient, right? Here. Cody was what, yeah. 14, 14, 16 weeks? So, 14, something. Yeah. He was a young pup, uh, one of our Western Shepherds. Check it out if you haven't already. Visit uh, YouTube. Type in Western Shepherd. You're going to find a lot of stuff on him. But we had this Western Shepherd. His name is Cody. And we were actually at somebody's house. We were, we were interested in buying him. And Butch gets a phone call from this elementary school. And he goes, hey, you know, are you guys still coming out to, you know, the, what was it, meet the teacher day. or a career day? A career day, and <laughs> Butch goes, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we we have this 14-week-old puppy, and we've been doing bite work with him. We've been doing obedience, you know, having some fun with him, short, quick stuff. And we drive over to this elementary school, and there's like three or four classes and 40 Second graders, right? Second and under. Yeah, I think we had. And this 16 week old pup went through a whole obedience routine, did a whole bite work routine, and it was at the drop of a hat. No time to prepare. And it was by simply just showing him the little things you wanted him to do and making it worth his while. You gotta remember, there's a lot of things that people think about dogs that are just really old fashioned facts that modern science turns into myths. So like, they used to tell you you don't train your dog, you don't take him out to a training class till at first it was a year old. Then it slipped to six months old. Now it's after they get their vaccinations. And the reason it was a year old in the 1950s is because we had rabies and other diseases and we didn't have vaccinations. But by a year old, a dog's immune system is powerful enough that he can fight off a lot of these diseases. So 
then when they got some vaccinations at work, they started, they figured it was about six months before their bodies really built up their own, their own immunity. So then the obedience classes started <coughs> slipping back to six months. Today we know we can give them enough safe shots by the time they're 12, 13 weeks old. But that's for classes. Yes. Remember this, when your brain is forming, it's soaking up information like a sponge. Kid raised in a bilingual family automatically speaks both languages, right? Mm -hmm. But when you hit the first grade, they can put you in a bilingual family, you ain't gonna learn that second language. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jack, it ain't gonna happen. Now, because <laughs> your brain, the biological processes, now your brain is not soaking up stuff, there's so much overload that you go crazy. As a baby, you're learning all your, your basics, your language, and such as that, and the brain just sucks it up. Puppies' brains develop the same exact way. How long? So generally with a medium-sized dog, you're looking at from six weeks to about six months. With a mastiff, you're looking at, again, from six weeks to about nine to ten months. With a chihuahua or a tiro terrier like Poppy, you're looking at six weeks to about four months. And so if you start working with a puppy in that time frame, because remember, you're not taking him out places where you get exposed to diseases, so it's perfectly safe. Yeah. If you work within that time frame, starting at six weeks, by, and like in the case of Cody, for 14 weeks, Cody could rip and start. We could have won any convenience competition we entered. We could have run him through a USPCA patrol dog certification. Yeah, he was bad little dude. Yeah, so you can start when they're, you know, you start right now with your basics. It's all about getting communication. Your dog's, your puppy's going to soak up all the information you have to offer, as long as he understands the way you put it to him. So, when when they're a puppy, are are we supposed to like correct them when they're messing up? Like, what's the best way to go about that? Should it be super formal? You have to do it this way. You have to do it this way. You know, I, I, to me, I don't think so. I think you. I think the first six to nine months of their life is all about building confidence make them want to do what you ask them to do. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen a six month old puppy I couldn't pick up and stop and do it sometimes just moving. <laughs> I mean come on. If you can't go no Well the great Danes, you know well, I have a six month, month old great day I'm training right now and yeah. I can't pick him up. There's an, there's, a, there's an asterisk on that yeah. yeah. Asterisk, yeah. But, but generally all I want to do is build their confidence yeah. the first six to nine months of age. Remember remember everything they learn it's it's Tasty and good and fun and wonderful in that time frame is going to be tasty, fun, and wonderful the rest of their life. Their whole life. Everything that's uh, painful, mm -hmm. distasteful, or uncomfortable is going to be painful the rest of their life. If I go sit and you don't sit and I go bang, every time they hear the word sit when they're 18 years old, they're going to go, holy shit, that hurts. I know it comes next. Yeah. So, so I saw this video on YouTube the other day. This guy had a leash like in his belt loop. And it was hooked to the dog, and he said you're supposed to keep your dog tethered to you for like six months. Like, but it, it, it didn't yeah. make any sense to me. What's, your, what's the theory on that one? The theory on that is called tethering. And the theory is if you have your butt tethered to your body for six months of its life, it'll be tethered to your body for the rest of its life with or without the tether. To say. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. However, that is not a training system. Mm -hmm. That is what I would refer to as a restraining system. Mm -hmm. He ain't got no damn choice. He ain't got no damn choice. You know what's going to happen when you let him off of that tether? Oh, I'm gone. Gone. Hit the bridge, baby. See, I don't have a problem with my dog being it. My dog is everywhere I'm at. So. Right. And I didn't tether him or whatever. So, I yeah. trained him. Magic word. Mm -hmm. right here. Remember, training a trained dog means, I think the essence of a trained dog is simply this. You ask him to do something and he has the ability to refuse or follow. And he chooses. He chooses to follow. That's when he's a trained dog. If he's tethered, he has no mm -hmm. decision-making processes. To follow through with. All right. Next. So that's the first six. That's all. We're way off our script, too, by the way. I was about to say, that wasn't anything we were talking about. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit.
but all right, so let's get back on topic. So after the six months, you, you've done the puppy introduction of commands. Then they're gonna, what, at what point are you gonna make it like, I guess, adult commands? Like, first of all, I'm not gonna wait till six months. If I've got a shepherd, if, if I've got a mastiff, I might wait till six months. If I've got a Labrador retriever, a, a, a large golden doodle, Labradoodle, great dogs. I'm gonna hit Stan. Stan's our master doodle. He knows all about Stan's doodles. with doodle. Yeah. So uh, on, with all these medium dogs, I'm gonna start at four months with their adult stuff. And all we're gonna do is build on what they've already learned, and they've been doing for a couple of months. They understand our words have a meaning. And they should pay attention to them, especially because of the name game. Now, when you say the name, they're gonna go, "Yeah, what do you want me to do next?" So. You can, again, you'll expand. So he already knows his name. He knows to come to you because you played the name game, walked away, and he followed because you're the pack here. Mm -hmm. So now you can add a stay when you ask him to sit. Oh, by the way, sit should be done. Everybody keeps their dog sit, so I didn't even mention that. But of course you'll be doing that automatically. Yep. You know, uh, and and the other big popular, everyone who comes out here with dogs that they need trained is shake. So if your dog's wet, he'll learn that off. They just, you know, soak him down, say shake, and he'll, he'll get after it. I think that's cute. I like what my <coughs> Yeah, yeah. So, Terry did that with her dog. So, uh, her, her boyfriend did that with her. She was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's we, another we, podcast. That's an, <laughs> yeah, we, we don't put that on ours. Yeah, it's that's not. Sponsors. That's not that for children. <laughs> no, that's our. Mm -hmm. That's adult rated. We're starting our. our what do you call it? What is that rating? It's not X, it's R rating. There's an X. There's an X. Yeah, there's an X. We ain't doing X. Not with me and the what, what, Carrie, what Carrie's talking about is something. Yeah. Let's right. get back to dog so training and uh, rating. So. so Why are you up there being the best? I'm just sitting here, people. <laughs> <laughs> what we do is we just expand and start bringing them into everyday life. So it's going to be important that they stay in one place. If you tell them to, are you? Cross the street and talk to your neighbor or whatever. And Fifi. And Fifi. So you're going to add your stay command. Okay. And now at four months, they're going to be a little more physically able. Not, as, not quite coordinated, but more coordinated than they were at, at two months. Yes. So you can teach them the down command. Remember, teach them to stay first. That way, they, if in a sit position, that way their fanny's on the ground. The biggest problem with people teach down is they go down if this is the dog's nose and they go down and they drop the treat and that's all great but the dog will go okay let me eat right mm -hmm. so what you're going to do is you go first teach him stay stay he knows he's not supposed to do this now he's got that down real good and you go down and he goes uh, 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 uh. so you taught him to down and now you're going to lengthen the time you taught him to stay Step away two steps, count to three. Do that for three or four tries. Then step away four steps, count to five. Do it till you go ten steps and a ten count. Your heel command, you've taught him to walk. Alright. We're back on. So you got your heel command, you've been going heel and you start walking, and the pup walks with you, he's happy now. And he, so now you ask him to sit after you take three or four steps, give him a treat. You step off with your left leg and say, heel, and he'll go, ooh, daddy's moving. Start walking with you. You stop, and you give him a treat and say, hold right over his nose, look back towards his tail, say, sit, give him a treat. Heel, three or four steps, simple as that. And you'll just expand those things, okay. and in six months, you'll have a trained dog. Okay. On or off leash, because you haven't restrained him. You haven't made him do something where he had no choice. You taught him what you expect him to do, and he enjoyed doing it with you, and he'll enjoy doing it for you the rest of his life. And that's what it's about. I think it is, yeah. And that's where the lifestyle training comes in. That's how lifestyle training is. Basics, right. It's lifestyle training basics. How long is that? I like this lifestyle training. It's 29 minutes. I say hello from Japan. <laughs> what Japan? up, Japan? Hey! Hey, Japan! Hey, Japan! I'm kind of fond of Is that long? 29 minutes. That's good. That's I like the lifestyle training though. Yeah, it's more practical. 
I mean, it really is. I mean, you can take your dog anywhere. You know, it's not like a formal. I really like your yeah. lifestyle. Right. I mean, if you communicate, you can communicate to the dog what actions you want them to perform. The the pictures that the dog's looking at. It's not gonna matter. Like I've done everything he told me to do, and now I can just look at my dog and tell him to do something. He looks at me, and then he'll do it. Yeah. So, and, and, you know, when you train in a formal setting at a certain time, on a certain day, in a certain way, every time, that's when those words and commands mean something to you about. Taking out somewhere else for distractions. You know, so. I'm not very formal anyways. <clears throat> that's We've noticed. Yeah, yeah. We have noticed. So anyway, you like our new digs. We hope our sound was better. We're going to make it even better than it was. Uh, we're going to be slowly rebuilding this thing. We may be a little slow putting up information. Remember, if you ever have any questions about anything that we're doing, you know, we love we love trying to put out more information because we understand it. If you have better information, send it to us. We'll put you on the podcast. We ain't proud of this thing, you know? Come on down. Come on. We'll have, you, we'll have you sit right here. We can make some more room, and we can talk it out. That's right. We'll let you sit in the Golden Retriever's. Uh, we'll, let you sit in, sit. we'll let you sit in Stan's chair because you don't want to get bit by this one. <laughs> very, very nice. So see us next week, folks. We're going to have this room fixed up a little fancier, have the studio ready to go. Send us, please, any questions or requests. We, we do appreciate the chance. Everybody stay safe. Wash your hands. All that Wear your stuff. masks. Gloves. Have your bacteria so. Good day. Good day. Good day to you guys and girls. Good day. Good day. Good day. Hey, Good Tony. Good day. All right, guys. That's all No more questions? No questions today? No. We're off. Are we off or are we still on? No. Look, we're still on. Hey. Hey. Okay, you got to do the dance. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You're going to scare the Australians and the Japanese people away. Sorry. <laughs> no, remember, they like me. They, they like you, remember? Yeah. Who, who likes you? I don't know. Everybody I don't likes you. Yeah. Are we still live? Yeah, we're figuring Everyone out. Everyone likes me, right? <laughs> remember, we've already to, had this conversation with the last podcast. We're, we're, we're trying to turn it off, and if, if we don't, these two are going to take the stage, and I'm going to leave for you and get embarrassed. <laughs> so, uh, we're getting out of here. You guys can't figure it out? Bye-bye. Are we still alive? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes. <laughs>